Is the air movement in your glass house effective? We understand that air movement is key to maintaining an active and homogeneous climate for glasshouse growers, but how do you know if your current solution delivers effective air movement? Before investing in expensive equipment, it's worth determining if you actually have a problem. The chances are if you don't use anything to generate air movement, there will be some degree of unevenness in terms of climate across the glasshouse and crop. There are three ways to measure air movement in your glasshouse. Proxy measurement, such as temperatures. Visual or smoke. Measure air velocity. To know exactly what the current situation is and whether or not it has improved, some measurements are needed. In many situations, there can be a significant difference between the microclimate and the measuring box reading. Not because of erroneous data, but because the climate is actually different at these locations. Using just one measuring box per zone is simply not enough. Instead, a matrix of sensors should be used to give a good resolution of the growing area. Temperature can be used as a proxy for air movement and can help to identify problem areas. By creating a heat map, it's much easier to visualize what's going on than by relying on measurements alone. Uh, there are sensors to measure air movement, but the air movements that we are interested in are, are between one to five centimeters per second. And it's very complicated to measure that. Because if you move with your sensor, you already create that, uh, that value. So that doesn't bring you much further. Uh, what you can do is use smoke. Because air movement is challenging, a visual technique is to use smoke. Uh, we use smoke generators to, to bring in smoke on, on a specific position in the greenhouse, like uh, the entry of a, of a fan, to see how it distributes over the greenhouse. Mm -hmm. Well, that does tell you how your air movement is through your greenhouse, but it doesn't tell you how much air movement you actually have. So that's, that's quite complicated, but I think it's, it's more important to look at the influence of the, the reaction of the plant on the air, air movement. Because if you have no air movement, you will see it immediately in a warmer leaf. So when you start using infrared cameras, you can, you can check whether your uh, air movement is, is right, yes or no. Measuring air movement can be tricky. Without sensitive and expensive equipment, measurement accuracy at low velocities can be unreliable. Close to a fan, for example, air velocity will be high, while at crop level it could be significantly lower. Optimizing the air movement in a glasshouse is an iterative process in that you need to measure, analyze, install or adjust equipment, and then repeat the process. Ideally, a target variation of 1 degree C, vertically and horizontally, should be achievable. This is the second video in our air movement series. The other two explore Video 1, What can air movement do for you? And Video 3, Techniques for improving air movement. For more information on optimising your production environment, visit growsave.co.uk.